Welcome to this happy drawing time today. We will draw today a paw of a cat, of a ginger cat. Drawing paws can sometimes be a little bit tricky, but also funny to do. So I've decided to draw with you here a small paw of a cat with orangey brown colors and pinky pads. So the paw pads are pinky and the size of uh, this little drawing is about four to five centimeters, so not very big, easy to draw. So I hope you can follow, draw along. Yes, so then let's start. So first let's start um, drawing here with a light flash um, the outlines of the little so the little paw pads here, I'm just mapping in them here with the light flash, sketching in them. Here too. Let's start drawing the outline here and here are the bigger one. Here it looks a little bit, so here we have the pickup pad, it looks a little bit like a heart <laughs> and here it's not a tip, it's a little bit rounder. Okay, so that's that are here the outlines of the paw pads and then I would use uh, orangey brown with a sanguine or a terracotta so a lighter orangey brown and let's um, map in here the outline of the paw here around the pads and here let's draw a little bit of the paw too and here below Okay, yes, so then let's start um, first uh, working on the paw pads with pinky colors. So I would start with a darker pink I pink I use here Durant pastel pencil, Crimson Lake it's called. It's a beautiful pinky color. You can also use the pits or the caputellos, any brand you have of pastel pencils. I prefer to use when I'm drawing pinks, for example here the, the skinny pads of the paws or tongues of dogs for example if, or uh, the inner of the ears. If you use pinky colors I prefer to use Durant or Caputellos because of the pit unfortunately are not very light fast, the pinky colors of the pits so to speak not of course you can find stars on the pits for example and the carpotellos that uh, determines the light fastness of the pencils so the more stars you have on the pencil the more light fast they are and so I avoid in commission work to use the pits when I want to use pinky colors because the pinks are not very light fast so I use Durant or Caputellos. You can of course use your pinks for practicing. Then let's um, map in a lighter pink. So let's map in here a light pinky color. You can also map in a light flesh for example. So I'm using here a Durant light pink. Map in everywhere where you can see highlights on the reference photo. So the light is coming here from above. So I'm mapping in here light pinky color here. 
Then let's blend those layers with a paper stamp. Blend those layers together. Always um, apply only a bit, a little bit of pastel pigment, not too much. When I'm blending those layers together, you can see there um, appears a little bit of loose pastel dust. I'm blowing that away carefully. So all the, the pigment or the pastel pigment we don't need, I blow away to avoid that the paper is saturated too early. I use your pastel mat from Claire Fontaine. An amazing drawing surface for pastel portraits. It allows lots of layers and and uh, yes, you can draw easily with lights or darks. It's an amazing paper. So let's apply also a little bit of the light flesh and blend the layers together a little bit with the light flesh. A flesh color is also a little bit orangey. It goes a little bit into the yellow hues. So it's not so red pinky, it's more orangey. It's, yes, it's a beautiful color, this light flesh to mix in here on the paw pads. We can also map in a little bit of white for the highlights here. Mapping in a little bit of the white and blend it carefully with the paper stamp. I'm using very low pressure here for blending. I don't want that the white disappears. So blend it very carefully. Okay, then let's start with uh, the the fur around the paw pads. So I would start with the burnt sienna. So let's map in here burnt sienna. Let's map in here burnt sienna between and around the paw pads here, the pinky skin pads. Here below the paw is darker, so I'm plotting in here the, the brown. Also here. And around this paw pad here. Mapping in here the burnt sienna and then um, here a terracotta color, the pinky 100, ah, sorry, the orangey brown 187 of the pits. Plot in here a little bit of the orangey color and here too. I um, also love to use the burn uh, the sanguine, it's more orangey color, it's a brilliant orangey brown. Um, it's called Sanguine 188 in the sets of the pits. The Carpotellos also have some amazing uh, range of orangey browns. Blend this first 
base layer here together gently with the finger or in smaller areas. I prefer to use the blending stamp here for the blending process. this together um, the color of the paper shouldn't shine through so the color shouldn't be visible the paper shouldn't be visible anymore when you have applied here are some layers so I don't want to see here the gray teeth of the pastel matte paper I apply as many pigment I need to that all the paper is filled up here with a thin first or, or second layer of pastel pigment and then you can work on it for next layers let's start um, increasing the depth and the contrast by using dark brown here so I'm mapping in here a walnut brown also around those those pads here let's increase the depth let's add more shadow i'm mapping in here walnut brown around the pads here we can then add black it can be really deep depth so Also here, let's map in here around the pads, more darker colors. Also here below, let's blend this gently with the paper stem. So there shouldn't be outlines or framing lines along the paw pads here. There shouldn't be a, a, a line surrounded here. Blend these lines carefully into the layers here, into the paw. It should only be a darker section. Well, then let's use black. Let's map in here black and add more depth again here around. I'm using here a little bit more pressure when I'm working with the black. I want to map in more color pigment here. It can be a little bit darker. Blend it a little bit. Same here, I blend it a little bit here in third direction. We are now starting building up the fur structure, the fur rendering. So let's building up here the fur. Let's use um, an ivory here and let's start drawing in here some fine thin fur hairs here that this cat here has some lighter fur here in the middle of the paw we can also start overlapping here let the hairs overlapping the pads well, the pencil should be sharp so I sharpen it quickly So let's add here lots of fine thin pop hairs, fur hairs, fine strokes with a sharp, with a very sharp um, pastel pencil. We can then draw some fine fluffy hairs here also 
into the background here. Very fine, thin hairs. Lots of fine, thin paw hairs. Let the those fine strokes follow the direction of the of the fur. So have a good look to your reference photo and let them follow the direction. Here they go upwards. Here they go a little bit rightwards. Here they go upwards towards the paw pads here so they change a little bit the direction here they go to the right side here here they go downwards you can we can draw some of those hairs here into the background let them cross and here they go, of course, here upwards or to the right side of the paw. Then let's use um, an orangey color, the, the sanguine a little bit, and let's add some orangey strokes here. And also I'm working now with the walnut brown. Let's add some darker strokes here. It's again a process changing darker colors with lighter colors. Here we can also bring in some hairs with a brown. Keep the pencil sharp again. It's easier in this size uh, to work with sharp pencils. You can redraw along a little bit with the brown and add some more brown strokes here going over the pad to here we can draw when we draw a line uh, over and over again gently with low pressure it it gets more and more dark uh, but it's not a, a, a very very sharp surrounding line so go over and over gently and add a little bit of color pigment here also we can map in more of the dark and here too some hairs then let's uh, yet let's go in a little bit with black again and add here more depth another layer of black mix in a little bit of black Strokes here too. Okay, here the cat has a lighter part, so let's map in ivory a little bit here. Here we have to draw a little bit of the lighter fur. Blend it. Blending it with, with the finger, then I'm going in with a white and let's draw another layer of white working on the fur. So we are quite starting working on the fur here, drawing in fur direction here. Blend it again gently and let's go over it again once more. And let's bring, let's work with a raw amber, for example, or a burnt amber, so um, ochre brown color. And let's bring in here some details, uh, a little bit of fine, thin 
shadow hairs here in the light fur. Here at the end of the paw we can create a fading. So let's fade out here the edges. I don't want to have here a sharp edge. So or a sharp line. So let's fade out of these colors. I'm using here the cotton swab or the fingers to create this. Okay. Yes, yeah, so then let's work here a little bit on the fur. So here the fur is growing upwards here. Here it makes a curve. Okay. So let's draw a little bit more of the fur. Let's use the walnut brown once more here. And a little bit of, a, um, we can also use a little bit of a red brown here. It's the Capotello 655. Let's work a little bit with the red brown. And let's work a little bit with um, the orangey brown, the terracotta color. And let's draw in some some lighter orangey hair is here. So build up the fur in some layers. Here we can also add a little bit of the, the orangey brown. So you can work here on more and more fur details and bring in more and more layers to refine fur rendering the first structure using very very short fine strokes <sighs> then let's use uh, the ivory again and let's add another layer with a very fine thing Hairs of ivory, pushing the pigment into the paper. So that's now really detailed work. As this ball is very small, use very, very fine thin strokes, perhaps some dots here. So it's really a very, very detailed work now. Starting working on very, very fine thin details. You can Add here some fine, thin, fluffy crossing hairs and some hairs going here over the pads. Here too. Let them cross and overlap. So the same here. Let's add some very fine then here we can go over it once more with ivory Okay, here we can bring in a little bit of the ivory for more highlights on the paw. So perhaps we can use the dark pink too once more or a red color. 
to increase a little bit of contrast here on those paw pads or we go in with the the red the red brown a little bit bring in here more color and a little bit more yes more um more colors to make the portrait a little bit more interesting then work a little bit with um, the sanguine here and bring in a little bit of the sanguine once more okay so yes I think yes it looks um, great now we can stop now this little drawing lesson of today I hope you have enjoyed drawing if you uh, have drawn along with this little tutorial then please show us your results share them in the facebook group community with, with hashtag happy drawing time if you have instagram account share it in your stories with a hashtag happy drawing time and tag me and i will share it too in my story so i would love to see your results and i hope you have enjoyed this little tutorial Yes, I wish you lots of fun with drawing and see you the next day, next Monday in the next Happy Drawing Time lesson. Bye!